As a front-end developer, you may encounter the need to internationalize your web app. In the app, you must build the possibility to choose a language, and once another language has been chosen, all the text that is displayed to the user is shown in the selected language. In this video, we build a basic Angular application and use ngx translate to internationalize our web application. We also take a look at the online translation manager tool Phrase. With that, a translation manager can manage keys, which represent a text and the corresponding translations of that text. The translations can be retrieved via the Phrase API or as a file export. We will use the JSON export and build it into our Angular application. At first, let's build a simple web page. We start with a fresh new Angular project. In the app, I build a simple landing page. At the top, I want to have a language picker. For that, I use a simple HTML select box. The option value attributes are used as keys for the language, and the display text is a user-readable name of the language. Of course, the language names will be translated to the corresponding language which is selected in the language picker. Also, I add a handler function of the select change event. Later, when I include ngx translate, I will use the translate service to change the language. And also, I add some content to the page. I add a title, a short welcome text, and a button with a label. Our goal is to translate all the text which is displayed to the language which is selected in the language picker. Let us take a look at the online translation manager tool Phrase. It is not mandatory to use with Angular and NGX Translate. It is worth taking a look, as in your developer career, you will encounter translation manager tools in enterprise projects. Phrase has a trial phase where you can easily test and try it out. When you are logged in, you can create and manage projects. In a selected project, you can define keys which represent a text. Also, you can maintain a list of languages. Simply define which languages your project supports. Phrase automatically detects which keys need to be translated to which languages. So now you must provide text for every key and for every language. Let us discuss two ways of using phrase translations. One way is to use the phrase API. For that you must get the project ID. In the phrase portal, select your project, go to more and go to project settings. Then go to API and copy the project ID. Then you need an access token. In the profile dropdown, select access tokens. In here you can generate an access token and copy it. These tokens should be treated like secrets. Then you can use an HTTP client of your choice to retrieve the translations of your project from Phrase. Here I use Postman to demonstrate that. Use the API URL with your project ID. You must set the user agent header in order for the Phrase API to accept your request. Also you must set the access token as the basic auth user. And then the Phrase API provides you all the keys and the supported translations. For this API, you must consider that there are rate limits and you also must manage the access token securely. The other option to use translations of Phrase is to export them as a file and include them to the Angular project. In the selected project, simply go to Languages. Here I select all languages and press the Export button. There is a variety of export file formats. The easiest is a simple JSON format. Once downloaded, you now have a JSON file for each language. The JSON files contain the keys and the corresponding text. Add these files into the assets i18n folder of the Angular project. Note that you could also create these files manually without phrase. 
Now we are ready to integrate ngx translate. At first we must install the ngx translate core package via npm. And then we install the ngx translate http loader, which will load the JSON file for the chosen language. In the app module we must do some imports and some initialization of ngx translate. First we create a http loader factory function. This function has an HTTP client as an input and returns a new translate HTTP loader. The translate HTTP loader constructor will get the HTTP client. Also it gets the path prefix, which is the ssi18n folder. And also we provide the file suffix, which is .json. So the HTTP loader will try to find the language file in the ssi18n folder with the JSON filename suffix. Now we import the HTTP client module. We also import the translate module with the for root function in order to import the module with providers. As a parameter we set the default language to American English Locale. Also we set the loader to be created with our HTTP loader factory function. Now we go back to the HTML template and component class where we created the example web app. First in the component class I inject the translate service. Then in the language pick event function I tell the translate service to use the selected language. Make sure that the language local values match the language JSON file name without the JSON suffix. Now finally in the HTML template we can replace all the hardcoded text. We must use Angular interpolation, specify the key which we want to translate and pipe the key with the translate pipe function of ngx translate. This way the ngx translate library will try to find the key in the language file and replace it with the corresponding text. So after replacing all the text, we are finally done. Every time we pick another language, we observe that the text on the page changes to the picked language. You can verify that ngx translate loads the language files from the ss folder via http calls. Open the network debugger of the browser, refresh the page and switch to another language. ngx translate caches the language files after they have once been loaded. So that's it with the video, thanks for watching and goodbye.